I always do stories, little video stories of my paintings that I do in case somebody maybe is interested in it and wants to know about, more about it. When I go to galleries, I love to learn about the artist. What was the artist thinking when he painted this? Who is the artist? And this one, out of all the stories of all the paintings I've done, for me, this is the one that, one of the ones that cuts the deepest. You know, um, it's called The Soldier. And it goes to a dark place of when I painted it, but a place of, of light. Let me explain. Um, back in 2004, I was sentenced to an eight year prison sentence in federal prison. And out of those eight years, I served six. And it was there that I completely changed my life around. I have been out since 2010. So from 2004 to 2010. And it was there in solitary confinement where I learned how to draw, which eventually led to how to paint. And um, I wanted to give my brother a gift, my oldest brother. So on my last month of releasing, I had one more painting because I would get these canvases and uh, they, they would sell brushes and paints on commissary, which is like a, the store I can go to every week. And I wanted to paint something special for him. And because my brother was almost like a second father to me because he was 10 years older than me. You know, I did have my father in my life. He was, he was with us, but my brother was there a lot. Huge influence on me. And he raised me to respect our armed forces, our Marines, Army, Navy, um, uh, Marines, you know, uh, Air Force. So when I saw, the, I was going through the USA Today, I'm not sure, I guess it was a magazine or, or something. It was this article and uh, it showed this soldier during the Iraq war that was going on. At the time I was incarcerated, this was going on. And it showed a, a painting, a, a photo of this soldier. And he looked so honorable to me. And I said, this is a perfect gift because in prison, what else could I paint? I would find things in National Geographic or articles or, or newspapers. I would find anything that, that looked um, good for me to paint because I was learning to paint. I, I wanted to paint things, but I was confined. I wasn't allowed, obviously, to go and take a drive down and <clears throat> look at some landscapes or anything. So I would get my, my ideas for painting from magazines. So I decided to paint the soldier. Let me show it to you. This one has so much meaning to me because I, um, I painted it, I sent it to my brother in a huge envelope that I made out of manila envelopes put a bunch of stamps on it, and I mailed it to him. And then a month later, I was released. A year after that, I planted House of Rest Church in Modesto, and I just continued on. It wasn't until a few months ago that I was having a conversation with my brother, and he said, you know, he goes, you should make some G. Clay reproductions of the soldier painting you sent me, and I totally forgot about it. And I was like, can I see it? Because I didn't even remember what it looked like. And I went over his house and he came out with the same envelope I mailed it to him. He had had it put away. And he took it out and I said, yeah, I definitely need to make you place this. This is, this is beautiful, you know? And I turned it around and on the back, it had the officer's information, his name, his branch, his regiment number. So I thought, I gotta find this man. I pray that he's well. I pray that he came home. But whether if something did happen to him, I need to find his family. Because I need to give them a print of this painting. You know, so as you watch this video, I don't know how this is unfolding. I am currently trying to find him. 
and I pray that I do and I pray maybe I do a revision video later and it'll be awesome you know but um, this painting means a lot to me the armed forces mean a lot to me and everything that they do you know I have a lot of friends and people I respect in my church that are that are veterans from the different branches and we always honor them you know so I think it's interesting that somebody can be incarcerated in a prison by the United States of America, yet see honor when I see somebody like this that was serving for us, for all of us, you know? So I just want to thank you for finding interest in this painting. It means a lot to me, and I pray that if it's something you get, that it means a lot to you too.